Hello, my name is Rob and this is Seven Skies Astro and today I'm going to give you a review on the Player One Saturn Square Mono. Now before I start I'd just like to affirm that um, I'm not associated with player one cameras at all or anything like that. What I've bought with the, the Saturn um, is with my own money. So I, this is an honest review of um, what those capabilities are. It's the camera in the box. You get an auto guider lead, a USB 3 lead, a blower, and a couple of little Allen keys to adjust the tilt. Now the camera itself, is a mono camera it's the same as the ZWO um, 533 uh, one shot color cameras except this is the mono version the ZWO do do a mono version but it's, it's pretty expensive um, but it's the same chip it's a zero amp glow um, the camera comes with with a tilt built in so you can adjust the tilts and for using Nina um, and the Hocus uh, Focus it's it's got a, a an analyzer you can analyze your tilt and everything like that and tells you what you need to do to adjust it and your um, distance to your reducer that, that that's another video where I'll, I'll go into that another time but as I was saying this this camera is um is the IMX 533 it's the same as ZWO and I've managed to get um, some test images using the uh, H-Alpha uh, O3 and S2 filters. Um, they're all 7 nanometer filters, so let's pop on the computer and um, let's get them up and show you the comparison. So here we are in PixInsight. Um, I've, managed, I've got some data up for you. This is my part of my mosaic which was in my last video this is i've cropped it back this is the one shot color data it's almost four hours worth and as you can see it looks quite nice obviously the star is a little bit red but i didn't um in any of this mosaic i didn't take the stars out with starnet so that's why my star is a little bit like that um, and this is an hour's less worth of data. This is only three hours worth with the Player One camera. Now, there's only an hour's worth of um, HA on each channel, three colours, HA, Oxygen 3, and Sulfur 2. I've done in the shoe palette and that's the comparison if you look at the, the reds are so much more obviously because the hj data looking at this but i think there's a little bit more sharper detail and a little bit more contrast in the player one image the narrowband image compared to the one shot color what i must say there's the one shot color one has all been fully calibrated with dark lights bias dark flats and flats now the player one image all i done was take the lights and flats that's it there's no darks there's no bias there's no dark flats so i think for such an image like that it, it really is a clean image and considering it was um moon was quite bright out it's almost um, almost a full moon with that. I'm really pleased. Uh, I think it's about ninety five percent moon. This moon was um, um, I'm not sure on that moon. I think it was um, it was a quarter moon, and that's a. Uh, but the filters are compatible filters that. 
filters on that was the L Extreme and uh, an independent S2 added to it. This obviously each one is seven nanometers again, um, with a three HA03 and S2. Now, what I do have for you, just to show you more of a comparison, let's just minimize that. Is there's the mono integration from the hours worth, and this is the the one of the panes which has got the wall in of the one shot color data and this is um three hours worth so that's an hour and that's three hours worth with the extreme now i don't know if it's coming through on the screen but it's really noisy the one shot color compared to to this one because it's a screen right in there let's jump on that one there you can see better and you can see the noise is is really really noisy. And that's the same image scale three to one, and you can see the so much better. The stars a little bit smaller because it is the same sensor through the same camera but you can see especially over here the noise is very pixelated whereas here it's it's not nearly so bad if you zoom out a bit you know i think you, you can't really argue there's yet more definition all round compared to the one shot color um these the um unstretched images um i had problems with that because i was just taking the camera off and i try and get me space and then i just decided to take the images regardless so there's a bit of tilting and i haven't sorted it out um and i think for the value for the money that's really good value i really do think it's it's got to be worth it just two lots of data there Bear in mind, there is the HA in O3 in this one, but this is just the HA. So you're using more of the pixels on this, uh, but you're using more of the debayed layer. You're using the red and the green. But this is just catching the HA on the whole pixel, and I think that's what makes the data so much cleaner. As you can see there, it's it's you're not got all that speckle and blottering. It's so much you know, there's three stars there, you can't even see them there. You know, at the stars are smaller. It's just a, a nicer, cleaner image. But over I mean, don't get me wrong, the the one shot colour MC Pro was an excellent, excellent camera, and I was going to, I'm going to keep using this, and this just is going to add a new level to me imaging because I can take the same sensor, I can just matter of swap the camera over and add in the five millimeters or so because the backspacing is different, and it's going to be really interesting going forwards taking some more images because you know it, it's just. I just think it's it's really a little dolphin head there. You know, if you look at that compared to that, you can see the data is so much cleaner. And don't forget, this is an hour, and that's three hours. So there you have it. My conclusions, this camera is certainly worth the money. If you want to get into narrow bands mono you there's not a lot a lot you can do wrong there's a, a lot of people going for the um cw uh, 585 chip um because that's got zero amp glow but that, i think that's a that's a color and that's quite reasonably cheap but this camera is is a bit of a game changer especially if you already got a 533 
wants your colour and you want to supplement it, then this is good value for money, in my opinion. Um, I certainly like it and I'm looking forward to getting a lot more imaging done with it. I will still use my one shot colour, don't get me wrong, because that has certainly saved me well and it will carry on saving me well for different targets. But I'm certainly going to use this one uh, more because the, the data, it catches the data. I think it's uh, a, a third, two thirds uh, more quicker because you're using a whole pixel instead of, instead of a, a quarter of a pixel or half the pixel if you're with the green band so there you go certainly worth the, the money and um, I hope you've enjoyed this review uh, I'd like to thank all my subscribers um, you really helped me out and if you like it um, give it a, a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because it really does help me and I'd like to uh, grow the channel as much as I can so once again I thank you very much and clear skies